So you want to use two-way radios in the UK but not sure where to start? Well, you've come to the right place. Hi, Ham Radio Guru here, and coming up is a guide to help you make an informed decision about what you need, and what you don't, to use two-way radios in the UK. Firstly, I want to make it clear that some radios don't require any license to operate in the UK. It's possible to purchase what are called license-exempt radios, and these utilise the so-called PMR446 section of frequency allocation in the UK. PMR is an abbreviation for Private Mobile Radio. The number 446 refers to the frequency of transmission in megahertz, in this case 446 megahertz. Don't worry if you don't know what megahertz are, these will be explained another time. These radios have a power output of half of one watt, and are really only good enough for very short distance communication, around the house and garden, or a bit further if you're, for example, in an outdoor space. It's probably also worth saying that you don't need a license to purchase any radio equipment. A lot of people actually purchase a radio before they get licensed and just listen to transmissions from other licensed amateurs. A license is only required if you want to transmit on any of the amateur radio bands. Bands is a term for a group of frequencies. So if you only need or want to talk to friends or family over short distance, typically up to 2 miles or 3 kilometers, and you're not interested in learning about amateur radio any further, that's probably all you need to know. You can purchase PMR446 radios from many retailers online. An example link is provided below in the description for convenience. If you're still watching, then you're probably interested in amateur radio as a hobby and want to use more powerful radios to communicate over far greater distances than what's possible with PMR446. If you want to do this legally in the UK, then you'll have to get a license and your own unique call sign. This involves passing a test, and while attendance on a course is not strictly required prior to taking the test, it's very strongly recommended. In total, you can expect the course to take around 10 hours spread over perhaps one weekend or maybe several weeks, and you can have your license documents within a week or so after taking the exam. Courses are usually run by an amateur radio club near you. If you want to find a club near you, then have a look at the website for the Radio Society of Great Britain for affiliated clubs. Link in the description below this video. There are three levels of licensing in the UK with different privileges and restrictions. The first level is called the Foundation Licence allowing you to transmit with a power of up to 10 watts. The second is the intermediate with an increased power privilege of 50 watts. And the third is called the full license with a maximum power limit of 400 watts. It's not all about power though. What is most important is having an efficient antenna. And once you have your foundation license, you can experiment with different antennas. With 10 watts, you'll easily cover distances of 30 to 40 miles with a handheld radio. It's also possible to communicate with people in other countries with some slightly more sophisticated radios which can transmit on frequencies that are bounced off the upper atmosphere. This is one of the major advantages of becoming a licensed amateur. And yes, you can do all this with just your foundation license. Now you know pretty much everything you need to to get started in amateur radio. I hope you found this video useful. If you think we missed something, check out the video description because we update our content where it's needed and perhaps we've already addressed your query. That's all for this video. Make sure you subscribe for more content and please do let us know if you like the video by giving a thumbs up. Thanks and see you soon.